think it was like uh, last uh, century in 1920s when we had uh, protein isolated from different animal, like uh, for insulin, you know, from uh, uh, isolated RNA. Then came in the 1980s when we started the recombinant protein that we could produce in inside the cell. And, and now that it seems that the next chapter is that you will make, the patient will make the protein, you deliver the RNA. And what it makes is that it makes it affordable because the RNA is cheap to make. And, uh, and then you don't have many of the side effects. Two years before COVID came, already we used uh, heart failure and injected to the patient who underwent uh, bypass surgeries and injected to the heart. And then actually the phase two trial ended just in this year, January, and they found a uh, good effect. Those messenger RNA coded for BGFA, co which is a uh, code for a protein that is uh, generating blood vessels. And also the same uh, mRNA was used for uh, uh, treating a, a necrotic wound in a diabetic patient already in clinical trial prior to the COVID. So that, uh, but most of the people were not aware that this uh, mRNA is already in a clinical trial.